play some uh some more super mario rpg um so yesterday where we left off we've reached uh i think this place is called nimbus land i believe and pretty much there we go sorry i had to turn down the audio a bit um this area is filled with people that look a heck of a lot like Malo, and Malo is currently trying to find his parents because he realized he was, you know, not a frog. He grew up thinking he was, but he's not. And uh, we suddenly stumbled across this town that just, it looks a lot like him. So we're going to see what we can figure out here. Oh, and also there's a prince here that has his name, which is also interesting. I don't remember this. Where am I? I don't like climbing upstairs in the dark. I've fallen down the stairs and broke my tailbone. It's not liking stairs. Funny enough, my new home has stairs, so go slow on them. Oh no. Yeah, no, I... I think this would freak you out then, Claire. And, like, I'd say that's, like, a very rational fear, to be honest, right? Because, like, there is a strong chance to get hurt. Um, I've told this story before, but years ago, before I met Mike, we had a massive ice storm here in Toronto. And, uh, we have backup generators in this building, so we lost power for about a week, I think. Give or take four or five days, maybe. Um, and it turns out... Our backup generators power the hallway lights, so like the the lights outside my front door, and the lights in the stairwells. Those only last for three days, as we found out. Because I needed it to go up and down, you know, X amount flights of stairs. I won't say how many exactly. Um, in pure darkness, because there's no windows in this stairwell, while carrying jugs of water. Um, because we didn't have running water either. <laughs> and, uh, that was pretty scary. I, I would not like to do that again. It was very dark. I had a flashlight that I had to, like, carefully hold because I was holding two jugs of water, like I said. One in each hand. And, uh, it was a lot. Never, never again. <laughs> That's the question of you grocery chat. Basically, I had a nightmare once and I feared an incredibly specific, very gross thing as a result, even though the thing is so specific I've never once heard of it happening IRL. I have suspicions, but I don't want to freak anyone out, so I won't say it. Rational fear of mirrors, I just think they lie to you, as weird as that sounds. Yeah, mirrors are weird. I get that. I wonder why more people from the world down under don't visit us these days. I hope it's nothing personal. I used to work for King Nimbus, but all of a sudden one day, Valentina told me I was fired. I just don't get it. He needs help. He's sick. Oh. Is it on your stove? Oh, there we go. There you have that. I'm looking for something. Look in your eyes. What can I do for you? You can give me more gear, please. Alright, we got the mega glove. There we go. We got a sticky glove for Malo. Got a hand cannon for Gino. And screw Bowser, but we got a war fan for Peach. <laughs> Why is there nothing for Bowser? <laughs> this poor guy. Yeah, see, like, there's a lot of things you can absolutely rationalize, definitely. I'll take even ones that just, like, you know, come to mind first. King Nimbus appears to be a tad under the weather. It's been a while since I saw Prince Mallow. He's changed, but yes, I do believe that's him. Wish the king would get well, but at least the prince is back just in case something awful happens. Wow. Was Prince Mallow that huge? Well, she says it's him, so it must be him. He used to work in the castle. You should see the way she hits the poor prince. What a horrible life he must live. Oh my god. They just went there. I'm watching that volcano over there. What? Star pieces? Hmm, never heard of them. Used to be able to walk through the castle freely, but I guess we shouldn't disturb the king now. Have you seen the volcano? Um, not yet. Volcanoes to the east. Sure wish I could make it, uh, take a dip in the hot springs. 
I think my answer might be birds. Something in my caveman lizard brain does not like when they fly erratically. Yeah. Birds are, they're kind of weird. That's Garo the Sculptor's place. He used to make all kinds of things for King Nimbus, but these days the king isn't calling for much new art with him being sick and all. The bus is undergoing repairs. Okay. Well, down the stairs of my new home, but luckily it was okay. The place I broke myself home was at my brother's ex-wife's house. I broke him home and he laughed at me, so that wasn't fun. Can't sit down for long without my butt aching or need to readjust your spot. Yeah. That does not sound pleasant at all. I have thankfully never broken anything. And I say thankfully, one, because of pain, but two, because I'm a massive baby when it comes to anything medical. I'm like, oh, nope, nope. <laughs> Fair. Relief you're saying hello to people. I just feel awkward when I see a neighbor or something, so sometimes I just walk back inside. Oh, that's a mood. I do the same thing. Oh, and we live like on an apartment, like in an apartment. So like, you know, there's that awkward like waiting for the elevator together and I'm like, mm, no. <laughs> no, thank you. Hey, who are you? You can't just barge in here. Alrighty. Oh, hey. Hey, look, it's me. Oh, you mean that? That's King Nimbus when he was a young lad oh uh uh-huh what the who are you hello my name is malo and this is my friend mario malo so it is you my boy it's been so long why well, you've become a splendid young prince what i'm i'm really a prince oh story time Yes, indeed, I understand. So you were raised by the Frog Sage. There's no question about it. You are, without a doubt, Prince Malo. Mario, look at me. I'm a prince. I love, I love Malo. <laughs> I knew Valentino was up to something. I just didn't know what. That must mean the king isn't really gravely ill. Let's go inside the castle and save my mother and father. Hey, who are you? You can't just barge in here. Wait, I have an excellent idea. Come over here. Oh? Are you ready? Uh... I would like to know what I'm consenting to, but sure. Hold still, okay? Oh! There. Hey, don't move. You're going to be a statue for a while, okay? Let's get going now. Isn't this cool? We're gonna say hello and they just ignore me or don't look at me and I'm just looking awkwardly at them for a minute. Oh god. <laughs> I relate to this so much. Delivering Valentina's latest order to her. You may enter. Oh, who goes there? Hey, this doesn't look like Valentina at all. Oh? That's because this is a statue of Valentina's nephew, Mar Mariota, okay? Mariota confirmed. Uh, okay, proceed. That was close. Don't think we could get through that one. There's no such person named Mariota. Oh, no. this is lovely. My beauty simply shines forth like the sun. Only you can make something this stunning. Thank you, your majesty. I'll be on my way now. Halt. What may I ask is this ugly thing? Oh, she went there. If it was Luigi, she wouldn't have said ugly. That's my latest masterpiece. I, I created it just for you. It's called The Search of Lost Brother. 
or in search of lost brothers, sorry. Observe the thick mustache. With it, I depict his kind feelings for his younger brother. Mm-hmm. And the sideburns conveying his strength of heart. And the legs, well-defined, strong. Legs that can leap any distance in a single bound. Hello, sir. Good morning. <laughs> Is it to your liking? Hmm. I consider myself something of an art buff, and I have to say, this is spectacular. Garo, only you could have created sculptures of such gentle beauty and raw power. Thank you, your majesty. I'll be on my way now. Spectacular. Dodo, Dodo, don't just sit there like a roast. Hurry and carry these in. Dodo. Step on it. Uh. Welcome on in, everyone, by the way. I hope you're all doing good. Going to the dollar store, getting some candy. Fenix, how are you doing? Marina, how are you doing? Welcome on in. Did he line up really well with the text box? I didn't even see that. <laughs> it's just, it's his skills, you know? Okay. Let this team do Chrono Trigger. Honestly, yeah. I don't know... I don't know if this is Nintendo who remade this or if it was a different company, but... Yeah. Would not be opposed. Midas is back at it again, pretty much. Dodo! Did you display the statues properly? Fine, now polish them to a fine luster and make them a tribute to my beauty. Pay attention to me, hurry up, and don't let me catch you dozing again. Was it Squeenix who did the remake? Interesting. <laughs> Dodo code? Uh-oh, Dodo's in a pretty bad mood. Keep up your statue disguise and jump to avoid getting packed. Get ready because he's coming this way. Yes, because statues jump. I'm nervous. <laughs> what? You saw a statue move? Don't be ridiculous. You're just stalling so you don't have to polish them. <laughs> I'm sorry, I got really anxious. <laughs> I don't like these stealth sections. Okay, so I shouldn't have just been jumping in front of him. Oh! <laughs> I wasn't expecting it! You saw nothing! Stop bothering me! If you're so worried about it, you go give it a good peck! Oh my. Oh. <laughs> uh, I think there's a way to avoid all of that, but it's okay. Oh, right, we have different weapons. There we go, that was pretty good.
Oh. Oh, and there he goes. Off to lurk. I got clean cook. No worries, cat lover. Um, with the if you're if you're still listening, just for the cat videos, if you want to post them in like the pet channel, I think that'd be a better channel, by the way. I think you've been posting them in the Minecraft channel, and I wasn't exactly sure why. <laughs> okay, it looks like we don't have our gold on anymore for whatever reason. Shame. I was actually kind of digging the color. I'm trying to figure out... I think the background music has her laughing in it. Do you guys hear that? It sounds like, oh, ho, 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 like it, that in the background, though. Hey, Ace, how are you doing today? Oh, well, come on in. I'm just doing very bad today, aren't I, Jeez? We'll see you later, Jacob. You're in need of help, help. What's going on? Jenny, good morning. Worries, cat lover. It's all good. Okay, uh, let's go and do one of these. Yeah, welcome on in, friends. For those who are just joining us, question of the day today. Uh, what do you fear despite having no real reason to do so? Basically, what is an irrational fear that you have? So it got me up at like five to go out. There's been some construction near us and it just sounds like a truck outside is idling and it spooked her. It took a while to get her to settle. Oh, sorry about that for both of you. That does not sound like a fun time. Uh, I think I remember this place being kind of maze-like. Oh God, it's the weird knockoff Pikmin again. Tommy woke up at 6 a.m. biting your feet. Oh no. <laughs> what is it with the babies? Waking us up early today. I expect that knockoff Pikmin to go newt newt. <laughs> uh, let me see here. All my fears are perfectly rational, especially the one of small children. <laughs> I mean, hey, you know. They're they're just smaller people who aren't exactly rational themselves so like you know what was that reaction oh okay there's like a fan thing also baby bark <laughs> fair Oh, this is outside. Oh, whoopsies. No. Okay, so there's a fan thing down that hallway. So I don't know if I can go down there. This is where I came from. Let's go this way. Uh. Does this lead back towards the fan? It does. Turtle, hello. How are you doing today? Welcome on in. I hope you don't mind. I was, uh, I was creeping a little bit. I think I was, you were, uh, streaming some, uh, Luigi's Mansion last night. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, 
not entirely rational, but clowns, and clown that is intentionally trying to look scary, like a bloody or zombie clown is fine. It's the squeaky clean ones you hate. That's very interesting. I would have guessed it'd be like all of them, but how 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 fascinating. Oh, that guy just turned from a statue to not a statue. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. Whenever people post their their streams in the uh... what is it? It's not a shout out section. What do we call it? Promo section? The promo section of the Discord. I often might just like, you know, stop in and and check it out. Yeah. I scream when upset and I don't like loud noise. Anything can say child boss. It's like having a time bob grab onto your leg and ask you to play like I was with them. I do. I creep really hard. I lurk in a lot of streams and most people never know I'm there, which is kind of how I usually prefer it anyway, but... You know what? I'm gonna piggyback off that small child one. I don't know if it's because I haven't been around very many small children. I get anxious if they say something to me and I don't understand what they're trying to say. Like, that freaks me out. I'm like, oh no, like, I, I don't want to be rude. I don't want them to be upset. <laughs> um, so then I get anxious about it. Ninja, how are you doing today? Welcome on in. entirely rational because I was like, who is under there? Why is it always a creepy old cis man? It's my fear of just cis men who knows. <laughs> Until I say something like Kingdom Hearts or Final Fantasy and I summon crystal, that or potatoes, yeah, generally summons me. Someone say potatoes. <laughs> but yeah, I actually felt better about that because Mike now has. Uh, ooh, if y'all could help me keep an eye on the Yoshi, actually, really quick. It's in the center. I have lost it. Where is it, chat? <laughs> I took my eye off of it for a second. Potatoes. <laughs> Um, uh, special course. Oh, yeah, on the bullet bill jumping one. My YOLO guess is left. Maybe middle? Oh, dear. Okay. Hmm. Left or middle, chat. Left or middle. I'm just gonna do this and then press an A and not look. You think on the right? Oh dear. Well, <laughs> it was middle. <laughs> there we go. It was for double the experience, which is why I really wanted it. Um, but yeah, Mike now has uh, two young nieces. Um, and I've met them both, but the initial time, um, the older one didn't really talk to strangers. She, she was friendly enough with me. She was scared of men in general, but... Um, she was friendly with me and we were playing with her toys, but she didn't talk to me, uh, which was fine. Um, and the smaller one was like a tiny baby, so. Um, but the last time Mike went up there this last summer, they were both talkative and they both were playing with him. And he said a couple times he had to ask the older one what the younger one was saying because like, you know, she's kind of babbling at him. Um, and I'm like, okay, that makes me feel a bit better. Like, I, I just don't want to offend him. <laughs> Hey, DK, how are you doing? Oh, big friends. Big guy's ready to launch? 
the heck does that mean? I have concerns. <laughs> I guess we'll never find out. SS Millie wants to try again or say it a different way. It helps them know they're being listened to. That's that's good. I'm going to keep that in mind because at some point I am going to go up there and uh, help Mike babysit, probably. <laughs> Well, mentally, it's better to respond to kids and or ask them what they said than it is to ignore them. Ignoring them negatively impacts their language skills. But if you talk to them, even if they're just saying nonsense, it helps them neurologically. See, that's very interesting, definitely. Um, and I know, again, with the, the older one, even though she wasn't talking to me, she was listening. And she was definitely, like, you know, understanding what I was saying. So I was uh, talking to her because we were playing with these, like... Disney princess dolls. She was really big into Frozen. Like, like I think pretty much all kids after Frozen came out, <laughs> from what I understand. Um, so I was, like, going on about, like, the lore and, like, the story of the movie. No, uh, second playthrough, actually. Yeah, I've, I beat this last year, uh, just on my own off-stream, but first playthrough on-stream. But yeah, you beat it two weeks ago. How did you enjoy it? I kind of want to try the Ultra Fireball, but it's 14, so that's kind of a lot. It's a sun. <laughs> I really like that move. It's just, it just looks funny. Oh, wow. You just knocked out your own teammate. So it plays for me only 10 hours of playtime, but I spent six. Oh wow, six months on and off playing it. Yeah, no, it, it's a very short game, but it's kind of cool that you, uh, you got that long with it, essentially. Oh no, it's okay, Jenny. I appreciate it. You said what I didn't say, so it worked out. Miss Bowser, Chucky Mario. <laughs> I only fear heights. See, I get heights. I feel like heights make sense, you know? Uh, metal? Nope. Okay, oh, there's the knockoff Pikmin again. satisfying. <laughs> I love when I actually hit it correctly. You have no idea what you're actually fear. Hey, you know, that is a good thing, I guess. <laughs> Welcome on in. It's very jawful of you to call him a ripper. <laughs> I'm sorry to the, the I'm, I don't want to say the name again, but <laughs> Most social engagements, I suppose? Yeah. I get that. How do you like Call of Boba? Uh, it was cute. Um, I think it needed a little bit more time to work on like translations and stuff. Um, and I ran into a weird glitch while trying to make a drink. Um, but other than that, it was good. It's cute. I think it has promise. Also, AC, I know you did a demo day yesterday. Which one was your favorite, do you think? Find all the board of my brother in detail, and then my brother, three, four year old guys, an unwilling frozen expert. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I was really drawing on my, uh, my memory when I was talking to her, though, because I saw frozen twice. I saw it first when it came out in theaters and then a couple of years after. Um, and like this kid was born a couple of years ago so like you know movie predates her by quite a bit. <laughs> Locomotive for sure? Oh yeah.
Apologies if you've asked this before, but do you play Fields of Mystery? I have checked out the demo and I'm going to be checking out the full release, but I am not going to be checking it out before it's out of early access. Um, I know I'm going to like it and I'm like, I'm ready to play it. I'm just waiting for it to be done. <laughs> I am so excited for it though. I'm not really expert in cards. Yeah, it's kind of, um, especially for streaming, I, I kind of figured this out with uh, my time at Sandrock. I played the initial release, early access, you know, version of Sandrock, and I loved it. I thought it was great. And then we got to the point where we couldn't progress anymore, and it was so upsetting. And then when I came back to stream it a couple months later, people, like, maybe they weren't there for that initial release, or they didn't remember. Um, and it was just, like, it was kind of upsetting to um, have to essentially start again, so I've decided, like, at least for streaming, if not just for me, I'll be uh, holding off when it comes to early access. I might buy them to support them, though, still. Oh! 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 Chat, we gotta keep an eye out for breaks in the wall. Oh, I like that. I gotta get in on this, yeah. Recommend Locomotive is a 2D side scrolling street game that's like Secret of Monkey Island. It's got humor and voice acting. I heard the voice acting from the little bit I saw yesterday. It looked pretty good. Do you know that there are hot springs around here? Yep. Oh, you're no fun. I wanted to be the first to tell you that. Sorry. Did you know? Valentina has got a huge egg in the middle room. It spits out eggs from time to time. Sometimes when you shield yourself, the eggs will ricochet off you. A dip in the hot spring will perk up the king in a jiffy. Go on, take this. Thank you. I used to be a guard here until Valentina snatched away all my keys and gave me the boot. I guess I won't be needing this master key anymore. Would you like it? Sure. Alright, here you go. Just don't tell me what you're gonna do with it, okay? Exactly, yeah, that's why, like, I will- if it's a game I know I'm going to enjoy ahead of time, I will just purchase it early in a early access. One, to support, but also two, to get it cheaper. Is there more hidden treasure? Huh. Checking to make sure there aren't any other like hidden walkways, but I don't think there are. Interesting. Oh, that's the egg. Oh, it's this guy again. Here you go, big eggy. I'll give you plenty of nutrients so you grow up to be big and strong. Oh, 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 Mario's already here. He's a fast one, he is. Oh, 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 it won't open. It's locked. Nope. As soon as a rational fear was, and he replied almost instantly in all caps, ballerinas. You know? I never understood how they stand on their toes that way. Like, I it just, I, I don't think my ankles could do it. I get it. It's cool though, like more respect to them who are, who are able, or to those who are able to do it. I couldn't. Might not be necessarily fear, but more like awe. <laughs> they don't move right. <laughs> Mecha Koopa Stomp, Bowser's ultimate weapon. Oh. 
I was looking for, for goodies, but okay. timing. Oh, you can eat hot pot. <laughs> okay. More goodies, please. I'm gonna assume they're gonna be up and not down. Also, you know what? We were able to beat the fan just by running up to it in the other room, so I'm gonna try that. It's a good question, Jenny. It's a good question. Oh. Ah. No. Okay, where am I? Who am I? Double EXP, let's see. Alright, middle. Oh, my eyes are straining. Uh, right or middle, I think. Let's see. Okay, good. Oh. Oh, yeah, but I did not know about that. down. Get rid of these things. That I know that I can. I know the jellyfish is cute. It kind of reminds me, I don't know how safe these were thinking back on it, but uh, my mom and I used to have a lot of fish tanks around the house with like beta fish and we had goldfish and we had tetras and guppies. We had them all at one point. Not in the same tank, by the way, <laughs> especially with the betas. Uh, but uh, we went to this uh, this fish place, like not to eat, but like to like fish that you take care of, like pets, <laughs> um, called Big Owls. And they had uh, these jellyfish. They were like, I think plastic or rubber jellyfish that like uh, floated on a string that was like way down by a rock at the bottom, but they would float up to the top. And I was so fascinated by them as a kid and I really wanted them. But thinking back on it, I don't know how good that would have been for the fish. Cause that's always the thing. And that was the thing we kind of learned through owning so many fishes. There's a lot of like, pet stuff that's sold that's really not good for the pets it's more so like entertaining for the owners especially for like with my experience like hamsters and guinea pigs and stuff okay let's see if i can yeah so much of it i remember learning about like how hamster balls can hurt their backs and like uh, there's certain type of bedding that's just really bad for them, and like, it's it's horrible, actually. I think the biggest example I remember is getting my guinea pig. Um, they, you know, we went to like, a pet store, and we picked up a cage for him, right? The cage that we ended up coming home with was one that said it would be better off for a rabbit, because the one that was for guinea pigs was so small, and even the one for the rabbit would have been tiny for an actual rabbit. For a guinea pig, it was okay, you know? It wasn't as good as we wanted it to be. And like, I can't even imagine stuffing a rabbit in a cage that tiny. Mm-hmm. Oh, 
Okay. This just goes into a room we've already been into, doesn't it? Yes. Okay. But small to sleep and then free for the full day. Yes. I still think the best was uh, growing up. My first experience with guinea pigs was my friend Lily. Uh, she had a guinea pig named Henry, and he was super cute. Um, and it was kind of like the family's pet. It wasn't just her pet. But what they did is they had a fully furnished basement. Or finished, I should say, basement. Not furnished. And uh, they ended up converting the majority of it into essentially Henry World, is what they called it. Like, it was fully guinea pig proof, guinea pig safe, and he had the run of the place. The entire, like, you know, a very large basement. And it was super cute. I, I loved him. And also, I will forever associate Henry and O. Henry's The Chocolate Bar with that guinea pig. He was so cute. <laughs> He was probably like the most loved guinea pig because I know the um, my friend Lily and her younger sister they really really wanted a pet, um, but the mom had like allergies um, with like cats and dogs and stuff, so they kind of like settled on a guinea pig where like the mom wouldn't have to be too involved and like you know he was down in the basement and away from from the mom for the most part. So, oh Henry's are yummy. Those are one of my favorite chocolate bars too. <laughs> Hamsters need so much space as well. I've watched so many hamster tanks set up to several feet of sand. Yeah, no. Not good for them. Big guy is ready to launch. What does this mean? Oh god. Are you gonna launch? What happens when you launch? Oh no, he's probably not going to. Sorry, big guy. Next time. Um, okay, so... Oh, now you're afraid of rabbits. I know that they can be big into chewing and all that stuff, but... Um, sorry, I'm trying to find that save point again. Uh, it was not here. Box. Yeah, that sounds good. Lots of space. You have a funny animal story. Do share. Do share. I always like to hear those. Mm, yes, it was this way. As a kid, we went to this local farm a lot and they had a petting zoo. They had a show where they showed off the roosters, hens, and chicks to teach kids about the life cycle stage and stages of growing up. Okay, yeah. And I volunteered to go on stage and hold a chick. Okay. I'm nervous where this is going. <laughs> I'm so lonely. Will you play with me? Sure. Thanks. I was like seven, eight-ish. They made me hold the... The cockerel? Wait. Do I need to pull this? The what now? Oh, like the... The big chicken, the rooster. Oh, no wonder. Yeah, I've always wondered what their... their I would call it a gobbly gobbly, but that's not what the word is. What their combs or whatever feel like. 
sorry. I was like, the what now? I also... Mike knows this. I've been to petting zoos in my life. I've probably pet a duck before, but I don't remember. I would like to pet a duck. If the duck would like to be pet, of course. I feel like they must be very soft. Uh, yeah, let's do a special. Why not? I feel like a more scaly wrinkly ear love. Okay. Ducks are so cute, I want ducks one day. I'm kind of more stiff than one, too. When I was a kid, I got to hold a hissing cockroach at the Louisville Zoo in Kentucky. Is it Louis or Louisville? I'm sorry. I never know. Uh, my brother called her ghost, and the cockroach got set her antenna droop. She hunched down. She stopped moving. Oh, no. No. I know somewhere in my family's photo albums. Yeah. <gasps> Birdo, is that you? I'm Birdo. Do you come out of the egg with, like, jewelry on? Wow, and the bow for that matter, actually. Um, but yeah, if you go back far enough in my family photo albums, there's pictures of a young toddler crystal at a petting zoo. And I found a goat. And I found that goat's tail and I would not let go. I wasn't pulling on it. The goat didn't mind. But I was just like, this is, this is nice. I like this goat's tail. They're surgically attached. <laughs> Ouch, you're hurting me. Oh, wait. Now it's my turn. I don't like this anymore. <laughs> Get it while it's hot. Get what? Oh, dear. Ow. What did you just spit at me? I'm concerned. <laughs> It, it, ooh, I think it was an egg. You know what? I should probably try out Bowser's new move here. Let me heal. Uh, with Gino, because it seems like you're doing the best damage, Mario. Oh, I'm never gonna let you go. You're just too cute. Oh. Did you just go back in? I'm so confused. Oh. Thank you. Don't forget about me. I, I, I don't think I can. Oh, cat lover. What are you doing up there? They put Birdo on the game, but no Luigi priorities, eh? <laughs> She's never gonna let you down. Do you think she'll ever desert us, chat? <laughs> Welcome on in. Luigi's off in, what was it, the Waffle Kingdom? I think we all know the rules. <laughs> Luigi got a good deal in the Airbnb and was like, you know what? I earned it. <laughs> oh. I wonder if I have to like... Uh -huh, yeah. Okay. This is locked too. Mario. 
Look, there's a note. Let's read it. That's what I was trying to do. <laughs> King Nimbus is resting in bed. Absolutely no running in the halls. This only mean that my mom and dad are here. Hey, wait a sec. It won't open. It's locked. Believe it to me. <laughs> Looks like it's up to me to get us out of yet another jam. Feast your eyes on this show of brains and brawn. I love how this is his his thing in this game. It's just busting open doors. Stand back. Wait, wait a minute. If my dad's really bedridden, we shouldn't make so much noise. We need another plan. Oh, look at that. Look at that crying over there. <laughs> I guess we should find Valentina and force the truth out of her. But what about the door? Listen, you never, ever talk to the leader of Bowser's minions like that. Oh, I hate that. I'll ignore it this time, but don't let it happen again. Queen Valentina. Oh. There he goes. Don't mind me, I'm just crying over Story Season's Wonderful Life. <gasps> did, did you beat it? Or... Or did something else happen? I'm not saying anything for spoilerish reasons, but... Oh, my timing is not good with that one. It's even worse with this one. Oh, man. God, I, I still don't know what launching means, so. I beat it. This somehow hits harder as an adult. It really- oh! Okay, that was the launch, apparently. It somehow does. That game is just awesome. Mm-hmm, when you actually play through and you're like, I know exactly what's about to happen. Queen Valentina, that Mario creature who beat up Smilax is here. Mario, what does a Mario look like? Well, it has a busty mustache, long sideburns, and uh, a pair of mean-looking legs. Oh, thank you for appreciating the legs. Hmm, I have a feeling I've seen this Mario before. Wait, yes, it was that statue that Garo just delivered. What what are you gonna do? What are we gonna do, Valentina? Well, we certainly aren't going to listen to your pointless chatter. Frankly speaking, I'm not going to worry. Without this key, the king can't go anywhere. Hush. I said shut up already. What the? That that isn't a statue, that's Mario. Valentina, hand over the key now. Oh. Oh, utterly rude, and who in blazes are you anyway? Me, I'm the real prince, that's who. Brat, and how dare you listen in on a private conversation? Private, private, everyone in a ten mile radius could hear you. If you're going to be this rude. Simply going to leave. So long, chumps. Eh? Hey, Valentina ran away. I shall fly the coop too. Uh, I think we kind of missed the boat here. So better get moving too. Come on, let's go get him. Alrighty, let's see here. Um... Eventually I'll get around to it. I can't recommend that enough. It is my favorite Story Seasons or Harvest Moon game, but um, I still would recommend it. Yes, with Persona 3 as well. I that place rather me besides games. Sometimes the second time around with something, you're just sitting there going, Oh no, I know what's coming and oh no. Nope. <laughs> Don't like this. So many feelings. That is half the reason why I have not reread 
the Final Fantasy VII book that came out before Rebirth, which is called Traces of Two Pass. Um, it goes over Tifa and Aerith um, backstories, and I cried the first time. I know I'm going to absolutely sob the second. <laughs> Once you think being poked right through, uh, my childhood and loving sewing would get me used to them, but nope, my brother literally chased me around the house with one as a kid. Oh my god. I don't blame you. I'm scared of them too, and I've never been chased by one. And yeah, question of the day for those who are joining us. Uh, what do you fear, uh, despite having no real reason to do so? Basically, what's an irrational fear that you have? Yeah, see, that's the thing. I'm, I'm being very, uh, uh, what's the word? You know, just whatever you feel like answering with, because I know some people might rationalize it, others might not. Some people might be like, yeah, no, that makes sense. And others might be like, no, that doesn't make sense at all. Like, like, you know, my mom, for example, you know, is fascinated by, uh, medical stuff and needles and stuff like she's like you know whenever she's had like an IV or something and she'll watch it go in and out I can't do that I absolutely cannot do that it freaks me out too badly <laughs> to each their own you know oops man some of these are really hurting You too. Oh god, I could not. Initiating conversation, like sometimes I get paralyzed over talking to someone if I don't have a script or an in point. I could not go by myself to a local concert in the park without bringing my camera because I was terrified standing around without knowing anyone. Yeah. Valid. Greenfields and suddenly I just did the same thing with elevators. Interesting. Mike John, how are you doing? Yep, I think that is a form of social anxiety, but I totally get it. One, two, three. Oh. <laughs> I still think I've had one experience with needles that was actually a positive experience. Um. I had to get a shot for school here. I don't know if they this everywhere. I'm assuming other places probably have something similar, but pretty much I was behind on some sort of vaccination and in order to continue going to school, I needed to get it. I think that's probably standard. I don't know. Anyway, um, I had to be taken into like a walk-in clinic. So like, I'm not going to see this doctor again. Um, but he was really friendly, very nice. And he said something along the lines of, uh, when I count to three, We'll start. And I went, okay. And then he counted to three and then he took the needle out. I didn't even realize it was in. Didn't even notice. Like completely oblivious to the entire thing happening and it was awesome. I was like, thank you. Mind you, I was a teenager. I wasn't even a small kid, but I was like, you know, shaking in my boots. So I think he did that on purpose. Your state has that at least some places. Oh, some more places do too. I don't know if we did here. I know with COVID, a lot of places were like, okay, yeah, you know, you have to be vaccinated um, in terms of work and definitely for school. Um, but I, I think like regular other vaccines, as far as I know, they don't mandate it or force it. Oh my God, no. <laughs> Jenny, no. <laughs> it still would be proud. No, clear. Uh, Mike's username is Hostile Knight.
No, no, I, uh... I walked into that one, it's fair. Oh god. I somehow got the timing on that right, and I don't know how. No, I haven't got my flute shot. I should probably get around to doing that at some point. Oh, yeah, for hospital work. Yeah, that makes sense. Only a snake where she grew up is non venomous and plays dead as a defense mechanism, so there's not a lot of reasons to fear them. And yet, yeah, my mom doesn't like slugs. <laughs> She grew up in BC, where apparently they have these things called banana slugs, which are massive. Um, and it really freaks her out. I think that's like the only thing I know that she's actually scared of, actually, now that I think about it. Oh yeah, your arm's all achy the day after. I actually watched a video on that, Jenny. Um, it was interesting, like, how much is covered and, like, you know, how extensive those, like, exams are. University of California Fresno's mascot is the banana slug, really? Weird. I love that. Oh. Hey. Hey. I can jump. There we go. Sorry, big guy. You're on the wrong side. Yeah, I don't mind snakes. With, like, you know, with any critter, though, who I don't know. I'm gonna give them their space. I'm not gonna like go up and like start petting a random snake, obviously, but like I think they're cool looking. I like how they enjoy their heat. They like their sun lamps and they just kind of vibe. I also like my heat and also wish I had a sun lamp. <laughs> Without the tanning part, mind you. <laughs> Oh, and you don't want to start now. Can I move? Oh, no, I just keep falling. Yeah, both night pythons are cute. Oh. Hi. Hot springs are up ahead, but only royalty can bathe in there. Okay. Cool. Uh... Go back to the world map. Yeah, it does. Yeah, I get freaked out by spiders. But again, don't want to hurt them. I just don't want them near me. Crush the snake in question. That's why I'm like, well, you went into his yard and yelled at him. This is on you, right? Queen Valentina. Queen Valentina's the king showing any improvement? How's his wife, the old queen? And Prince Mallow, is he well? Know what I think? I think. Not only that, but... And furthermore... Ah, but then... Ah! I down all of you. I have better things to do than listen to your half-wit opinions. And look, while well, I've been wasting my time listening to your endless chatter... Mario has managed to find me. Dodo. Dodo! Oh, that bird has a permanent brain cramp. Dodo, you hear me? Get over here now. I need some help entertaining Mario. So move it. Come here now. I forgot how different you look. Dodo, Dodo, come here this minute. Don't just sit there. Help me. Hey. 
Ow. Is she gonna give us a dodo code? Oh, I hate her design. Holy... <laughs> it's... It's a choice. It's a choice. Uh... She's very cute, but she wouldn't make in the wild. I'm glad she has a home. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so. Just me and you, friend. Wow. Wow. That's so nasty. Oh, sense of a yeah, let us know. Yeah, that was a decent move. She just slapped me for like 50 HP. <laughs> Oh. Already? Okay, Mario's awake. Um if I try to attack so I know he'll do a lot more damage and then we're gonna heal Dodo, how could you lose already? Oh, come on, get over here. Good, I managed to block that one. I'm gonna swap back to Bowser. Oh, okay. What happened? The kitchen was dirty and there was a beach on the floor, so what happened is my dad woke up and was hanging into the kitchen and he stepped on the beach. He thought he stepped on a slug. Oh, ew. I can imagine the texture, too. Oh, really, Jenny? Oh, I would have been so down. Right? Just, like, the texture of it? Gross. Oh, okay. Uh, we're out of FP. I'm glad that your dad, you know, I guess after the fact, kind of, um, wasn't too upset about it. <laughs> I wonder if we can poison them. Might give that a try. Okay, so she has resistance, but that managed to hit him. Okay, this is 
less than ideal. Um, Bought more of these. <laughs> Don't believe this. Show's over, folks. Don't know. Let's get out of here. Well, everyone, until we meet again. Huh. I guess we won? <laughs> right? They're gone. Hurry, let's go after her. I know she has the key. Heck. Ow. Huh? Mario, look! G oh. You expect the tears, because Mala's gonna cry meeting his parents, of course. <laughs> So cute. Mom, Dad, I'd like you to meet Mario. And my other travel companions. I say, how can I ever thank you enough? It wasn't I say the name that we gave Link in our Link's Awakening playthrough? <laughs> um, I'm Mallow. Uh, Mallow's father, King Nimbus. Hello, everyone. Thanks so much for looking after my dear child. Allow me to introduce everyone. This is Princess Peach from the Mushroom Kingdom. I've heard so much about you. May I have your autograph? Don't embarrass Junior, dear. Oh, never mind. And who is this gentleman here? This is Mario. He helped me from the start. You don't mean THE Mario. Jumping Mario? Autograph, please. That's quite enough, dear. Okay, okay. Then how about showing me just a little jump? A tiny hop will do. Oh, you show off. Oh, fantastic. This is Bowser, leader of Bowser's minions. Oh, another famous person. This is just too much. I must have your autograph. No? Not even a little scribble? Okay, okay. And this is Gino, who came from the starry sky, like I told you before. Oh, yes, that story about the starway. How awful. That's Star Road. Oh, right. Speaking of stars, a little while ago, a large star fell into the volcano. I bet it's one of the star pieces. Hmm. But the dreaded Czar Dragon inhabits the, inhabits the volcano. It's going to be tough getting a star out of there. Hmm, perhaps all of you working together could handle the beast. Why, when I was young, I... Yes, dear. Now, once at the volcano, find Cinder Toad. He'll be able to help you. Before you go to the volcano, you ought to take a dip in our hot springs out back. They're the pride of Nimbus Land. Do be careful, everyone. Okay, but we probably won't come back until we find the star. Alright. If you have any problems, come straight back. Okay, we'll do whatever we can to help. Son, you're just like me when I was your age. I'm proud of you. Well, I bet you'd enjoy the hot springs just as I, much as I did as a boy. You can reach them through the door back there. Even Nimbus a Cloud has more hair than me. <laughs> Didn't ask for Gino's autograph. No. The Smash community is in shambles. How dare they? Me at networking events. <laughs> Can't remember which celebrity it was. Um. God, who was it? Bear with. I don't follow celebrity, but I read a funny post. That reminds me of that. Uh.
Fair rest, fair rest. It was Jeff Goldblum. I've read something online about how it, apparently at parties or at events, he'll go up to everyone and he'll be like, uh, you know, someone will introduce whoever he's talking to and he'll be like, oh my goodness, of course, and he'll seem so excited to talk to you. He just does that for everyone and everyone feels really special. <laughs> and I'm like, well, that's cute. I don't know anything else about that man other than the few movies I've seen him in. But I like that. I heard a sound, went out to check, Jitterbug, one of the stray cats, was on the roof. <laughs> oh no. D does Jitterbug have a good way back down? Exactly, no, it just makes people feel happy, you know? And like, you know, like, oh my goodness, I'm special. <laughs> Up ahead of the hot springs, but only royalty is allowed. Hey, you're the real prince. Sorry about the misunderstanding before. There's no way that giant bird could have been a prince, huh? No big deal. Anyway, do you think you could let us through here? Of course. Go right ahead, please, and try yourselves. But be careful not to fall into the volcano. Yeah, who would ever do such a thing? Oh. As long as we're sure these aren't an actual person. <laughs> Danger beyond this edge is the volcano. Ah. Fully healed. Hey, Mr. Wonderful, how are you doing? There, no, there's no such thing as a normal cat. Cats are just weird. <laughs> Trying to comment call and tell somebody to get her. I've been so lovely to every single person. See, that's like, that, that's the kind of stuff I like to hear. All right, so here we are in a volcano. This is definitely fine. Everything is okay. Good. Survived another busy day. That's what I like to hear. Welcome back, Vincent. How are you doing today? Oh, jeez. Okay, so I see that there's a sign up there, but there's also stepping stones, so... You know, my nosy ass has to go over this way. I've been loving this playthrough while I get through. Boring application stuff? Oh, I'm sorry. It's been kind of boring and tedious in terms of applications, but I'm glad we can keep you some company. Yep, we've got through the castle already. Oh. There's another one. <laughs> and also Ultima. Welcome on in. I don't know. I don't know why why we're fighting this definitely not Donkey Kong Donkey Kong Ow. doing pretty good today Vincent yeah the little lava guys are pretty cute and also by the way friends for uh, anyone who is just joining us. Question of the day. Uh, what do you fear despite having no real reason to do so? Basically, what is an irrational fear that you have? Or, you know, maybe kind of rational. I'll take whatever. Oh. <laughs> Watch me, I guess so. I guess so. Oh, did they remove that? Yeah, we were say kind of saying how strange her character model is in this. It was mainly just the wide head, I think, that was freaking me out. Do you plan to get the lazy shells? I don't even know what that is. Um, is it like a, a weapon or...? In terms of plans, I have no plans. Other than to, you know, get through main story of the game. But if you think I should get something and it's worth it, I'm interested. One well, the strongest weapon, one. Oh, one is the strongest weapon, one is the strongest armor. Oh, okay. How would I go about doing that? I'm gonna assume there'd be some 
struggle to get them, but I'm intrigued. Hello. Is it back in Nimbus land? Oh, am I out of the waters? Oh, it's right there. Uh, there's now an invisible path you can go. Okay. Or a hidden path that you can go. I'm too heavy, but I was having a rational fear back in my mind then times because my folks were oh doomsday preppers yeah yeah i've heard of that kind of situation before i have cut up a cucumber enjoy your cucumber um maybe i should go back now then we can just go back down into the volcano Yeah, I can just, like, go right back down, apparently. Rocco should also be in the house. Town and gives you a gift. Okay. Um, I spoke to those two before. I absolutely still love the cloud. Just, like, their weird faces in the background. <laughs> Here we go. Say, hey, we meet again. This here land is rich. It's got tons of loot and I want it all. But hey, I'm not sweating. This device will tell me where the treasures are hidden. The rest of them are mine. All mine. Adios, fools. I don't know if I classify that as giving me a gift, but I'll take it. But the echo signal ring, if you equip it, it'll tell you the locations of hidden treasures. That sounds handy. on the border of the southern wall so down this way or this way watch as I'm not in the same direction oh oh there's like a divot there but or east rather uh, this <laughs> there was definitely a divot there. I know that there's this here, too. Is it not there yet? Maybe not? Because, like... Oh, nope, there it is. Hi. Oh, oh, busted. What do I do now? That wasn't what you said, but we'll, d we'll go for it. I'll give you this fertilizer if you let me go, okay? Thanks. Bye. Now you can get the shells. I have to fertilize something? I know how they have like the smiley faces on them, right? Nothing that scared you so far? That must be very nice. Oh, a gardener in Rosetown? Got you, thank you. back to normal now i can finally move thank you so much for the follow welcome on in i think about to the forest and chop some wood so proud of my grandsons oh, the guy up here had the treasures uh, i can finally move i guess i owed all to mario what an amazing guy i'm just wondering if there's any treasures back here that i haven't picked up still
Isolated section northeast of the village only becomes accessible when Peach permanently joins Mario. Really? That's interesting. Found the treasure. Way to go. Keep up the good work. Yeah. The button I jumped on it. Did I walk past it? Oh! I thought this just took you out to the world map. I guess it doesn't anymore. Yeah. Interesting. And the gardener see that huge planter has been made you're seeking the legendary seed and fertilizer to fill it with but had no luck if only i could find them oh, incredible i do believe that's the legendary fast growing seed but uh, uh, oh he's info dumping we're here for it go off sir we'd love to hear your special interests mario stop overreacting it's fine I haven't finished yet. Well, that's my story. Say, so, will you give me that seed? Yeah, here you go. Finally have it. This is extraordinary. I can't believe it. This is a quick acting fertilizer I've been seeking forever. Oh dear. There he goes. Oh no. Short attention span. Yes, you might say I have fertilizer on the brain. Will you give it to me? I will indeed. Well, thank you. I finally have both the seed and the fertilizer. I'll try them out right away. Plant the seed. Then give it fertilizer. Nothing's happening. Oh. Oh, wow. This is amazing. Only my long held dream has become reality if I were to attempt to describe my feelings right now. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, enjoy it, cat lover. Does that make him a shithead? I guess it does. Then the history of Sonic summarized. <laughs> I think I could use a little more fertilizer. Oops, maybe not, huh? Okay, well, it's a good thing that he happened to plant this right below his chimney. <laughs> Got the lazy shell. And the lazy shell. Cool, thank you. Um... Oh wow, 242. Also shell of an enemy. Usually give the armor one to Peach. I guess because it's such a defense boost. I'm not actively using her, mind you, but... Oh my god, that's almost a hundred plus defense. And over a hundred magic defense. Oh! Yeah, it lowers attack, though. You're right. Ew. You can have it for now. If we bring her out, if she needs to heal or anything, she will be good to go. Mm, and then you said something about a flag? I'm finally back to normal. Thank you. These are all just the same as they were last time. There's a wooden flower. Oh, right, yes. Yes, I forgot about the flags from yesterday. Oh, okay. Right. That's cool, thank you.
Um, so I got the green bed and I got the flower. Yeah, and then the one is between O and A. It isn't a part of a town name. Okay. I'm still thinking it's like between a sign. Um, you know, I'm going to go back in because I don't like this menu. <laughs> Just prefer the, the other one. Because, like, my other guess... Oh, see, like, if he had, like, a different sign in front of his house. Like, I was thinking, like, the R and the I. Between the A and the O. But it says O and A, so maybe not. Yeah, I'll think on it. I'll think on it as we progress forward here. If I'm not sure... Oh, wait. <laughs> if I'm not sure by the end, then, uh, I will ask. Ocean headquarters. Um, let's go here. Okay. Back to the volcano. I think we had only just gone up here, so we're good to go. Let's try out the new shell. Oh, it's a massive shell. Okay. Do they have like mini ones that they hide behind them? That's actually so cute. The timing. Okay, double my coins, why not? Oh, you're just really busy today. Hopefully, at some point today, you get some time to yourself, if not, like another day. the timing right there. Double my coins? Yes, more money. Uh, I think it's in the center. Yes, okay. Oh, Peach leveled up. mine. All mine. They just shuffled too fast. I feel like I was all over the place in conversation. I guess, like, you know, it's not expected, but, like, it's, if you're going to be all over the place in conversation, I guess that would be probably one of the best places to be all over the place, right? Because it helps you sort stuff out. But I get that. I get that feeling a lot. Oops. Wow.
How are you guessing that? That was a 400 damage attack, wow. Oh! Jeez. Not nice. Much better. Okay, oh. Hello again! The exact same thing. Yeah, it's online. That's always good. That, I don't think, hit Donkey Kong at all. I'm, like, pretty sure that entirely missed him. <laughs> or chained Kong, I should say. I <laughs> think Kong is cheating. Kong has the action replay codes going on right now. I'm just saying. Oh, if I had gotten all of them, my goodness. Hides the game shark. <laughs> did y'all ever have any of those? I've talked about this before. I never did. I was always scared that I was going to brick my game or even worse, brick my consoles. So I never tinkered with them. Uh, these days, through the power of definitely legit emulation, um, you know, it's a bit... I feel a bit more comfortable messing with them. Oh, hello. Have one for Oh, N64 and DS. Very cool. I know, they're just little rock turtles, aren't they cute? did for DS. They took my wild world and cheated in a bunch of money in the entire museum. Was this in the town of shopping? Oh no. <laughs> I've actually watched a video recently on um, cheating and hacking in wild world. It may have been wild world or city folk. I'm not sure which. I mean, they're, they're very similar. Um, but it was something along the lines of people could hack in these items that would essentially spread over your town and corrupt and just really ruin your game. And it's like, that sucks. Hey, you can play. Good morning. Welcome on in. Actually, good afternoon now on my end. <laughs> I was a little brat about my friends using Game Genie. I thought it was morally superior for not wanting to use it to cheat. Oh no. I'm never gonna look down on someone for that kind of stuff, but I know as a kid, like, you know. It's easy to fall into that for sure. I remember being really paranoid about playing via Link Key with my friends that hack their Pokemon games in case I managed to mess something up in mine. That's valid, yeah. Alright, level 20. Just thinking back, I don't know if any of my friends use... Oops. Dear Lord. Uh, use, like devices like that. I know Mike had some, but obviously I didn't know him back then. No, 
Hi. It's pretty much more of the same, huh? I don't know why I wasn't doing that from the beginning. That would be a lot faster. I did say at one point I was so upset about my parents. Uh, my parents still remember it. One of the Pokemon trainers managed to overwrite my favorite Pokemon in a trade and duplicated his. Oh no. No. It's all fine and dandy until you start messing with someone else's game. Absolutely, Jenny, absolutely. Oh, he's doing me a favor because he's giving me my level 100 Pokemon. I was like, my storm lights. I can't get another. Oh. Oh, yeah, with a website name for it. Yeah. I remember those. Cat lover, that does not sound like a fun time at all. How did I? Okay, I'm not gonna question it. I've managed to hit every single one of these. We're just not going to talk about it. Hey, MCP. By the way, friends, if y'all have not already voted, we're deciding what game we're going to play next week. A straw bowl, if you would like to... Oh. I saw a goodie back here. I don't know how one gets that. Um, if you'd like to vote on uh, what game we play next week, do so with that straw poll link. No. <laughs> That's perception. Why must you fail me so? <laughs> That wasn't fair. My little feet he slid off. I got it. We're not going to talk about how many attempts that took me, but I got it. That's all you need to know. Me walking into everything around my house. Oh, I have trouble with stuff IRL too. I'm constantly knocking into things. I have weird bruises and weird places. Getting rid of these guys quickly. <laughs> I don't think this game has like a necessarily undead boss, does it? It's always one of my favorite like Final Fantasy things. It's just you know throwing a phoenix down on an undead boss and instantly uh, removing it. Mm -hmm. 
How did that get there? Also me ping-ponging off every wall, corner, cat tree, sofa, table. Yep. Yep. Oh. Hello. What are you doing here? Let's see. Stump it? Is that your name? Stump it is getting furious. Oh dear. I have to feed the babies. Take your time. How do you confuse an enemy? You stump it. Oh no. No, no. That wasn't a good kick, but it worked. I know that isn't a that is an amazing emote, and I kind of want one. But like, I feel like taters would look a lot more sinister. <laughs> taters would look more like the original like brows. Do we still have brows? No, it's a capital B. There it is. Taters would look a lot more like that, <laughs> which is also one of my favorite emotes, so it works out. <laughs> Making eyes at that bread. Point in my life where I just accepted that I will have a minimum of one bruise on my person at all times. Yeah, same here. I slammed my arm into a, a doorknob yesterday. Like that, like, awkward middle of your forearm part that's squishy. I slammed into a doorknob when I was carrying my laundry down the hallway. Not, not fun. And today my arm is not looking great. Rebecca, how are you doing? Welcome on in. How goes the, uh, the website? Hey, Googling Gamer, welcome on in. Thank you so very much for the raid. How are we doing today? What were you all up to? Hitchcart, welcome on in. Uh, streaming Kingdom Two Crowns. I don't know if I know that game. Thank you so very much for the raid. If y'all are new, my name is Crystal. We're going through Super Mario RPG. This is technically my second playthrough, but first time streaming it, so. Uh, it's been fun. It's a really cute little RPG. I really enjoy it, so. Welcome on in. Question of the day, if y'all are interested. Uh, what do you fear despite having no real reason to do so? Basically, what's your rational fears? Um, and also, if you need to raid and run, please feel more than free. My nine year Twitch anniversary can miss the very first game I ever streamed. How cool, congratulations. Yeah, if y'all are not already following Good Clean Gamer, do yourselves a favor and drop him a follow. Now. Just threw his head at me and then threw a bone at me? My goodness. Wow. Got a little bit of defense up. I can't remember. I think I probably have to do these, don't I? A new Greek mythology DLC for the game. Also, it was fresh content too. Very good. It's going good to spend some time porting this small app I had on my PC to it. So now I can better track which shinies I'm missing. And expand it to have styling eventually. Let me take a look at this. Oh yeah, look at that. So these are the ones you don't have. That list is very short, all things considering. Like, it's crazy how many you actually have. Oh, 
Oh, I'm enjoying it definitely. Did you play the uh, the remake or remaster? If by any chance, um, I think it came out like last year. I I played it first last year around Christmas and absolutely fell in love with it. I've never played the original, but one day I'd like to. It's very very cute. Got you, got you, yeah. Yes, yeah, so obviously it's not the one on that list. Got you. Okay, what do we got here? Hi! Got more enemies to run through? Here. What are you having? Oh. More enemies. <laughs> More enemies, apparently. Okay, no. <laughs> I'm gonna run out of fresh water by the end of this. Chinese carpet. Uh, Rangoon's fried dumplings and egg drop. Ooh, enjoy. No worries. I hope the chores as usual go well, and we'll uh, we'll see you next time. seen what happens I don't think when it gets furious in battle but I don't think I'd like to see either so friends this is really off topic but I'm quite excited uh, I guess speaking of Squeenix speaking of RPGs kind of related to what we're doing um, there's a new fan translation that's just came out with its 1.0 release for Final Fantasy 7 um, and the reason mainly for it is Final Fantasy VII wasn't very well translated at all. <laughs> um, which led to, like, you know, iconic lines like this guy are sick and other such things, right? It's called the... let me look it up actually, just so I'm sure I'm saying the right one. Random... We gotta get you in on this. Um... Bear with. This is the website for it. It is the uh, Shinra Archaeologic Archaeology Cut. There we go. Um, and it also adds in some cut content that was in the game's files, but was not actually fully implemented, which is, I think, the thing I'm most interested in. But it also does retranslate the lines. It also keeps it. Uh, how do I phrase this? It like modernizes some of the dialogue because there's there's some things that kind of change throughout the compilation so it, it kind of makes it like you know if you play the original um and then you play you know remake and rebirth there'd be some things that are kind of different even though technically the story is the same can this be put on ps1 roms that i am not entirely sure why can't you play the steam version out of curiosity. I just run it on the Steam version, to be honest. Um, it goes through the mod manager, which is called 7th Heaven. Oh, you're running Windows 7? Interesting. I sure could be if I said I've only played one Final Fantasy game. I also want you to give one guess as to which one it is. I don't think it's 7. I guess one of the newer... 
fewer ones. Or the MMOs, maybe. I see like 11. I don't know why. I've not touched that one, but... Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm excited. I downloaded it last night, got it running this morning, and I'm going to uh, be checking that out at some point later on. Library has Super Mario RPG. Oh, vaccine needles play. Yeah. PC expensive. It's true. Do we still attack while it's tailed? I haven't gotten up to that point. I actually got to the save point just before. Like, it's essentially the first save point in the game, just to make sure it was running this morning. And uh, I haven't seen what they did with that fight and the dialogue there, but... <laughs> we'll see you later, cat lover. I run Linux. Less spyware and viruses also more readily available and more useful help for various issues. Yeah, I my only experience with Linux so far has been with the Steam Deck, and it's been interesting. It's been interesting just kind of figuring out my way around. It was 14, like, like a total of five hours. Have you seen all the shenanigans uh, required to set up 11 these days? No, no. I don't think so, Bunny Bun. <laughs> A lot of people play 14 and not the others, and a lot of people play the others and not 14, yeah. Yeah. Once all three of them are out, then you're gonna play them. Yeah, that's fair. Hey there! Ooh, so those footsteps were you. For a minute I thought I was hearing things. I'm Cinder Toad. This place is a regular inferno. Come on, step inside. This is probably like the coolest looking toad. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Look at the item shop. Hi. Uh, pick up some more of those. Mm. No thanks. <gasps> what do, what do I spy up here? Oh ho ho. <laughs> Welcome back, Jenny. The only real issue I've had with Linux is having to start over, plus the learning curve after that. It's so much better than Windows. That's what I've heard. I've, I've quite enjoyed it. I don't know if I'd fully switch over. I don't really have much reason to, to be honest. Um, but at least for tinkering around on the Steam Deck, it's been fun. I play most Final Fantasies, but the vast majority of people... Uh, play, I play 14 with only start branching out to other Final Fantasies after 14, yeah. I wish I saw cosplays of that show and he's got pizzazz. <laughs> mm hmm Yeah, it's cool to see these. Also, I'm gonna hydrate. Thank you. Also, oh, the whole kitchen's clean. Heck yeah. You're staying great. I'll get everything ready for you. I'm really curious. Are we just sleeping on the boxes? <laughs> yes, we are. Morning now, wasn't that a cushy bed? What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's really funny. Oh, jeez. A death's reception, or lack thereof. Oh no, silver. That doesn't sound too good. Literally, my death perception leads to the death perception. <laughs> Of 10 Final Fantasy 7 games. I keep seeing story stuff from Ever Crisis for Soldier pop up in my timeline. Oh, yeah, I, I've i seen some interesting stuff, that's for sure, and I think we're probably seeing the same things. Um, I, 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 I'm debating picking it back up, but like, I'm, I'm on the same page. I'm not really big on the gotcha mechanics. 
Mobile games just don't sit well with me. Oh jeez, no! <laughs> Depth of deception. No, I should have gone. I did. I waited. Uh, there's equipment. I I could be wrong. I think there's also like outfits and I don't know if it has characters. It's, I haven't played in a while, but yeah, it it's it's Squeenix doing Squeenix where it likes to put actual story behind mobile games that are gonna get discontinued eventually. Deception. <laughs> fair. Okay, no, not fair. That... We made it. Kingdom Hearts, you cross. Yeah, it... Oh, I have feelings about that. <laughs> well, skins, equipment, stuff, or apparently you can't beat stuff without the better equipment. That grinds my gears a bit. Oh, look at the tomato soup. Sar Dragon. Hi. Oh, I passed way too early. Can I... poison? Waiter soup dragon. <laughs> nope. I think the Christmas book went not even December. Like, not. No, whatever you enjoy, you know? Whatever you enjoy. Here's you have a dog. Yeah, no, no, I don't. I don't. I wish I had a pupper. I have an Ollie, and I love him. Um, I just have a tater plush. Mike got it for me. And uh, he became a little channel mascot. Some people consider it hard in the original version. I know you're experiencing Gumi announced the closure of Brave Exvius's global version after Chasey Day Sunset and over with Ariana Grande and Katy Perry in Final Fantasy. <laughs> oh, there he went. Yeah, and since, um... Oh, is he back? Oh, cool! Wait, is this the undead boss? Did I totally use up all my waters earlier? Oh, I did, didn't I? Rip! <laughs> um, but yeah, since I've gotten uh, uh, Tater, um, people have actually gone off and, and got me other other Taters. Um, so we have like a little Tater family. It's very cute. Okay, um... I mean, I guess first order of business. Can I hit you normally? Yeah, we'll be fine. Heal here. Um, oh, yay! 
<laughs> so much for one-shotting it, but it's okay. We're all healed. Perfect. I like these, like... Oh, where am I? Where the heck am I? Oh, God. I'm scared. Okay, there I am. There we go. I like, I like this face. Look at them. Look at them eyes. <laughs> Yay! Six, one, I do believe. Yeah, make sure you get your votes in if you would like to have any say in what we play next. Oh. Hello? Rude. We got the star. We're amazing. We're unbeatable. We're gorgeous. Are these the Power Rangers? Better leave now, chumps. No. That's mine. <laughs> Jesse and James vibes, too. Yeah, they do have the Newt Newt. They do have the Newt Newt mouse. Hey, Red, look down there. There's gotta be the ugliest mustache I've ever seen. Ew, gross. That guy's worse looking than that Claude Mario. That is Mario, you idiot. Listen, everyone, we gotta get the star to the bleed immediately. We'll deal with Mario later. No, it's mine. Oh, the music. <laughs> careful, Red, careful with- Hey, Red, sorry, careful with this. You're all thumbs. Yeah, we all know Chad is the real stars here. I should be going to collect all of you to make a star road, apparently. Do you have a dedicated monitor for game consoles? Oh, um... Okay. I was actually fiddling with this this morning. I have an HDMI switcher in front of me, and it's a really big one, so I have an... in. I have inputs for Switch, PlayStation, and I think those are the two right now, currently. Um, and then I have outputs going to uh, my capture card, which I bring up that software and display it on my screens wherever I feel like. And then I have one uh, output going directly to my TV so that I could just play on the TV whenever I feel like it. Um, and that's currently the setup. The issue with it is I now have a third thing I want to hook in via HDMI, which is my Steam Deck. And I don't have another in for it. This only has two ins. So I'm kind of looking into options for that. But yeah, that's how I usually do it. Pretty much that I have that flexibility of being able to play on whichever monitor or whatever screen I want. Where's the blade? It'll be here. Are you sure? Relax, people. Mario's here. He's too late. Where's the blade? Shut up already. Oh. Finally. Yeah, so it's, uh, technically I think it's, uh, two in, four outs. And I can swap between the different uh, outs, if that makes sense. So I can send it to my Elgato, I can send it to my TV. I hope I'm making any sense. I can send you a picture of it or even the Amazon link later if you are interested. Struggle for chaos. We are... The Axum Rangers! You are knockoff Power Rangers. The star piece gives people hope. It needs to be destroyed. Megazord head. <laughs> I never watched much Power Rangers. 
All right, we got the Axum people, and that's about it, it seems like. I think I've gained some synthesis from Font Console and Nether Modern. I would recommend it, honestly. Um, this one's powered also. I think that would be my only suggestion. If you have a spare port, get one that has power to it. I find that they're a lot more reliable. I've had unpowered ones before, but they're not usually as good. Or can't handle as much, maybe. Um, I also... It depends on how many ins and outs you want. I've also had ones that automatically switch, so like... I could be playing on my Switch, which is in one input, and then turn that off, and then turn on the PlayStation, and it would automatically switch to the other input without me having to hit a button. Those are really nice, but um, this one doesn't do that. Yeah, I started off with a, a one in, or one out, two in, I think it was before, but I've, over the years we've upgraded. <laughs> Take yourself a Maxim Green. I'm kind of feeling the like yellow today. I don't know why. Yellow's not usually my thing. Oh god. There's so many different timings to keep in mind. Oh, they heal. Okay. Don't like that. Okay. Oh, my head is spinning. I have a switch right now, three in, one out. So I would probably chain it if it doesn't cause too much delay. I think the only thing with my current one is I'm not able to really, like, chain it, which kind of sucks. I broke my shades. <laughs> oh, no. Serves you right. Meteor Blast can't block. Oof. I want these guys in Mario Kart. I'm gonna aim for pink. Yo, Red! What? My makeup's running. Then change brands. Yo, Red! What? I'm hungry. Chew on your tongue. Ow. I sent some videos of a polished combo I decided to play with yesterday. Ooh, I'll have to check that out. Did you send that uh, earlier in chat? Sorry, or was it was in Discord? Enough. Now I'm angry. Time to finish this. Formation ho! Here we go. Hey, Ark, how are you doing? We are indeed fighting the Power Rangers, or at least the knockoff ones. <laughs> My makeup's running there. Go catch it. Oh, it's in the mod Discord? Awesome. I'll have to check that out. Maybe it's not Maybelline. <laughs> have some full recovery here. I don't like being half health. Oh, we got a freebie. Nice. Force beam energized. Maximum charge. Now. Fire the breaker. Oh, can't block it. It's a good thing I healed. Oh my god. Oh ho ho ho. Well then, I'm going to attack with you. Because you generally do the most damage. And then we're going to heal again. <laughs> I don't 
imagine I could stomp you. All the healing. Oh, that did nothing, dude. Not for 100%, no, definitely not. Just casually going through. This is impossible, we're invincible. Can this be happening to the Axum Rangers? Okay. I will 100% beat the game, yes. <laughs> that I can promise. Explosions. There they are. And there's our star. So if I'm remembering correctly, after this bit, it's pretty much final dungeon? Am I right in remembering that? I was saying earlier, it's funny. I remember... The ending, no, sorry, the beginning of the game very clearly compared to the ending, even though technically I've done before this playthrough the beginning more recently than the ending. Yes, and then Smithy's Factory. Right, okay. Six star pieces have finally been collected. Where could the last star piece be? Welcome back, Ace. Band of Wizards, how are you? Welcome on in. Alrighty, we did it. Luigi has it as he should. Okay. Oh, I just got off work. I'm doing pretty good today. Once the store got me. Uh, more iced tea and some apples uh, chopped one up for me and everything that Zoe and I enjoy. Oh, awesome. Am I going the right way? Oh. Uh. Oh. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Also, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Oh, look, we all have statues in here now. How cool. I'm going to see the King's statue collection. I tell you, it's remarkable. The statue seems so unworldly. My dad and I called chopping up an apple chipping. I got it from him. Oh, okay. I was like... A typo? <laughs> Mom, Dad, were you able to find the star, dear? Yeah, the Axum Rangers took it away from us, but we got it back again. That's wonderful. Now the star, uh, starway can be repaired, right? I guess not. You're still missing a piece, I take it. The last star. Wait, the only place left to look is in Bowser's Keep. Yeah, we know, but there's no way to get in. Believe me, we've tried, but... Yes, yes, even Mario can't jump that far. All right, I'll let you use the... That's it, dear. You should use the royal bus. Yes, Mel, the time has come for you to take the bus. Why, when I was your age? Really? Are you sure it's all right? Of course, dear. I'll order the repairman to have it fixed by the time you leave. You simply have to help Mario and the others get that last star. You bet, Mom. Come on, Mario, let's go. My goal is still... Actually, you know what? I think leaving this way is probably faster. <laughs> actually, eh, you know what? No, I'll go back this way. Uh, my goal one day is still to get my butt over to like a farmer's market and try all the different kinds of apples I can try. Because our grocery store really only ever has like two different kinds. <laughs> Not the school bus. <laughs> Oh, 
There we go. Okay, that actually wasn't that long of a trip. Are we healed? We are. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna just go back over to the inn. Tea pelts, everyone. I can like hear it. It's like ingrained in my soul. <laughs> Um, and yeah, before we continue on, friends, I think this is actually a really good time for a stretch break. We have not been on one yet. If y'all would like to join me, get up, stretch, grab a drink, grab a snack, do what you gotta do. I'll play some BRB videos while I'm gone. I'll be gone for about 10 minutes. And uh, when I get back, we are going to be heading into endgame territory. So hang tight. And uh, you are Ark. You do this every time. And I, I appreciate you being here, though. <laughs> I'll see you here real soon. <laughs> 